Another Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene Leakes has a mansion in Duluth, Georgia that is fabulous, over the top and extravagant, just like her. And would you expect anything less? While she doesn't still live in the same house featured on the reality show, in 2015 she upgraded to a brand new $2.1 million Mediterranean style pad. Prior to this, she rented homes in Atlanta and Los Angeles and today we'll check out where Nene calls home. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Lenithia Monique, aka Nini Leaks, is a reality star, actress, fashion designer, and more, best known for her role on Bravo's hit reality series, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, which she starred on from 2008 up until 2020. The New York native, who was raised in Athens, Georgia, has also appeared in other shows like The Celebrity Apprentice, The New Normal, and more. Aside from her work in the entertainment industry, Nini had a clothing line on the home shopping network before launching her swag boutiques in select cities across the US. While these days Nini has urged fans to stop watching Real Housewives of Atlanta and boycott it due to some ongoing issues that led her to leave the series, she still wants fans to see what she's up to on Instagram. Last year during the ongoing pandemic, Nini even gave her followers a glimpse into her beautiful Atlanta area home where she was hiding out, comparing it to a hotel. She said, "My home is actually like a hotel to me because I'm so in and out. Laying here in my bed, I have thought of how much money I'm missing out on, but my health is wealth. Money can't buy that. The reality TV favorite has amassed an estimated net worth of about $14 million, which has no doubt helped her purchase and customize her current mansion, and even more recently, acquire another multi million dollar property just down the street. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Well, we post a new video daily. In this video, we'll be checking out where former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene Leakes calls home, including her current mansion in Duluth, Georgia, her formal rental houses, and more. If you like this video, I would love to do more house tours on the Real Housewives stars, so let me know in the comments who's next. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now, let's get into this video. While Nini now lives in a gorgeous upgraded mansion also in Duluth, Georgia, a suburb of Atlanta, it's not the same home that was featured on the Real Housewives series. Back then, Nini was living in a rental house that she and her husband Gregory Leakes were reportedly evicted from in 2012. While it was said the couple owed the landlord over 6 k in past due rent, I doubt that it was as big of a deal as the tabloids made it out to be. Regardless, this masonry covered home sat on about an acre of land in a suburban cul-de-sac in Duluth, surrounded by almost identical looking houses. This home spans about 4,000 square feet with 4 beds and 3.5 baths, as well as features like a stunning master suite with large sitting area and balcony. Nini's former master bedroom also came with a huge ensuite bath with shower and separate soaking tub. This house was constructed in 2006, and interior fixtures included hardwood flooring and cherry wood cabinets in the kitchen. Walking in, there was a dramatic two-story entryway with catwalk, and there was an attached great room with double height ceilings and a fireplace as well. The kitchen seems a bit outdated now, but it's likely been upgraded since listing photos were taken, and this room overlooked the family room. Other features included a full unfinished basement with potential to add more amenities, and a two car attached garage. Nini also enjoyed living in this rental home in Los Angeles, located in the lavish area of Bird Streets in Hollywood, an area where these days celebs like Ariana Grande call home. While we don't know how much she paid to lease the home, she lived here from 2013 to 2014, and it was located in the exclusive Doheny Estates community. Located on about half an acre of land, Nini's rental home was both traditional and contemporary in style, and the home was chock full of amenities. Built in 1962 and updated since this residence boasted five beds and three baths within 3,300 square feet of space. The spacious living room had white walls and dark hardwood flooring, as well as a marble fireplace, and it led out to an entertainer's backyard through French doors. The nearby chef's kitchen had top tier Viking appliances, white and glass front cabinets, and a breakfast area. Elsewhere, there was a formal dining room, a games room, and a second level that had offered more guest bedrooms, as well as the master suite. Nini's former master Master retreat here had an outside sitting area, a fireplace, walk-in closets, master bath with steam shower, and more. Not to mention the residence also had staff quarters and even a full guest house for family or visitors that could also double as a quiet office space. 
The living room and the kitchen open out to the entertainer's backyard that was decked out with stone terraces surrounding a large pool, a spa, and a grassy play area. In 2015, Nini and her husband Greg upgraded their living situation after renting out some mansions, finally purchasing their own for about $2.1 million. Located in Duluth, Georgia, the pricey Atlanta suburb she used to live at, this home was posh and newly built just a year prior in 2014. Located in the guard-gated Sugarloaf Country Club community, about 40 miles from downtown Atlanta, her home spans 9,511 square feet of space on a 0.7 acre plot of land. The gorgeous yard offers an angled porch as well as a swimming pool which is made even more impressive since it's lined with fountains. Nini said she wanted an outdoor space that was open, bright and beautiful, also adding, When I first started decorating my outdoors, I wanted it to make it feel like a resort, like I was in a hotel, like I'm vacationing and all that stuff. The pool area area also boasts a built-in hot tub, a lounge area with blue furnishings, and a long table with a built-in fire pit. At the front of the home, the perfectly manicured property has multiple trees lining the yard as well. Inside there are six beds, six full baths and two half baths, along with not one but two kitchens. There are also chandeliers in each room, and Nini made sure to customize the home as glamorous as she is. Interiors have a chic modern vibe and the exterior of the mansion gives off a castle feel thanks to all of the art including those on the main doorway and the glass doors to the patio above it. There's also a turret-like feature at the center. There are open plan living spaces on the main floor like a rotunda topped entry with curved staircase and a wrought iron rail bridge that passes over the double height living room linking the upper floor's bedroom wings together. This two story living room is decked out in white with pieces like stacking mirrors and a chrome side table along with white couches covered in pillows. Elsewhere there's a less formal sitting room flooded with natural natural light thanks to lots of windows and an indoor-outdoor vibe. This is where Nini and her friends gather to watch TV and hang out and she said about this room, You can see my outdoors and the whole idea for the outdoors was a resort so I want some of the outdoors to come indoors. The main level of Nini's home also boasts an office with a portrait of the star on the wall and a bright billiards room. Nini reportedly has two different kitchens, one where she does all the cooking and another that sounds fancier. One kitchen is fit with a large center island, 10 foot tall cabinets and opens up to a casual dining space and family room. Located downstairs, there's the other fully functioning studio kitchen with additional wet bar and also on this level of the home, there's an entertainment space. Her basement has a pool table, slot machines and a Pac-Man arcade game making it a space the whole family can enjoy. One of Nini's favorite parts of her home is her master suite that's fitted with white and silver furniture, floor to ceiling curtains and a sparkling chandelier. There's also a sitting area and an oversized designer bed and Nini has said this space is her sanctuary. She explained how much time she spends in here saying, I lay on the bed and talk on the phone, I eat in my bedroom, I do everything in my bedroom. Not to mention Nini's closet is one of the most extravagant out there, organized by color and boasting a square shaped island in the middle for jewelry. Two walls here are used to hold over a hundred pairs of shoes and space for handbags and other accessories. Her property is close to the golf course which also includes a tennis court. While Nini's home in Duluth is an absolute palace, more recently she even invested in a neighborhood property. According to records, in January she bought a home for 260k, that's a 15 minute drive from her current mansion. This residence spans over 2,000 square feet with 4 beds and 2.5 baths, but it's unknown what Nini plans to do with the property or if it's an investment. Alright, so now we've taken a look at where former real housewife Nini Leakes calls home, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end. We've checked out two of her former rentals, including the one featured on the reality series, one in Los Angeles, as well as her current mansion. After checking out her home's past and present, what did you think? Which was your favorite? I think the obvious answer is her current multi-million dollar residence in Georgia, but mostly because she decorated it so nicely. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Also, like I said, let me know if we should feature the homes of some other Real Housewives stars, and if so, let me know who. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!